So now our special guest is Marissa Elder. And Mar Marissa is an occupational therapist. Marissa, what exactly do you do as an occupational therapist? So occupational therapists work with people from all over the lifespan. So we can work from infancy all the way to older age. One of my um, jobs as an occupational therapist is to support um, children in their activities of daily living. And one of the biggest ones is feeding. So um, that can, the reasons why a child may need feeding therapy can vary. It could be a sensory issue, but it also could be due to difficulty with swallowing, which we'll kind of talk about today as we go through the demonstration. Occupational therapists also work with adults who may be having difficulty swallowing as well. Awesome, awesome. And so today we're talking about this PacoJet 2 Plus and um, Josanne was so great from PacoJet to join us earlier. But today we have a demonstration here. Can you explain a little bit about the different phases that, that of the um, IDDSI? Is that what it is? So IDDSI is the International Dysphagia Diet Standardization Initiative. And it's something that's been put forth by several different organizations in order to make it so that the way we talk about different types of food consistency in relationship to um, our clientele and people who require modifications to their diet, um, we can talk about it in a way that everyone can understand and everyone knows exactly what that thickness means. So Marissa, we have here uh, the, liquid, the liquid section on this side, um, which is like considered the drinks, uh, drinkable, is that right? Yeah, so um, a lot of times um, we, when we work with individuals with dysphagia, um, we have to modify the thickness of their drink depending on their abilities. So dysphagia is just a general term for difficulty swallowing and it can happen for a variety of reasons. For instance, when I was 16, for dental reasons, I had my jaw broken and my mouth was wired shut for six weeks. I know you guys all wish it was that way now, right? <laughs> Anyways, my mouth was wired completely shut so my teeth were together and everything that I swallowed for six weeks went through a straw. So if I had had a PacoJet 2 Plus back then, boy, I would have been eating everything. But um, so I totally uh, personally have been through this and had to go into the liquid, complete liquid, um, to get it through the straw because my mouth, my teeth were completely closed. So what other, um, when, when would you go into like the purees and the mints? Yeah, so, um the moderate really thick, the puree, the mince, this is going to be um, really beneficial for individuals who have either um, muscular weakness, um, weakness in tone in the esophagus, or if they are um, experiencing some temporary or long-term paralysis um, in the esophagus due to um, disrupted innervation. So as these individuals are going through therapy and they're working on strengthening their muscles or you know, some individuals who have developmental disorders, this is something that they will have to be in this range lifelong. Um, these would be the consistencies that would be best for them. Uh, we don't want it too thin because we don't want um, any liquid to aspirate or escape into the lung, causing um, you know nasty things like pneumonia. So but that we, would be the reason for having the different thicknesses yes, down exactly, here in the drink side. Exactly, and then we don't want you know them eating chunked right. food either. And so this middle section here really provides. Um, the right consistency and for still, different levels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And can you imagine, I personally can't even imagine after growing up eating steaks and chicken and things like that. I know from my experience ha of having my mouth wired shut, I, I just wanted meat so badly. And I actually had my mouth wired shut through Thanksgiving. And so I remember I was in the kitchen putting turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy, everything in the blender, because that's all we had back then. And I mean, I was just adding broth and broth and broth until I got it to a consistency that I could swallow through the straw. So yeah, it, it, I mean, just to have the flavor and you can not only the flavor, but when you have fresh food, which what the PacoJet 2 Plus allows you to have, because as you can see, we've got fresh peas and fresh carrots. Those were just, I just put them in the PacoJet 2 Plus and, and we, we PacoTized them up. And look at, this is a, a sample of 
baby food peas. I mean, look at the difference in the quality yeah. of the I mean, food. Just look, what would you rather eat? Exactly. <laughs> um, and then look at here's carrots, you know, the same same carrots, you know, baby food. And you can even with carrots, you can still see the quality of the food once it's pasteurized and sealed and all that stuff, the quality just goes downhill. Yeah, and I mean, depending on what you put in, um, you could use more of the vegetable, you know, more right. whole foods instead of just right. isolating certain parts of it. So yes. that's the great feature about that. That's awesome. All right, well, thank you so much, Marissa, yeah. for joining me no today. No problem, thank you for having me. Yes, thank you.